Hello and welcome to Digital Dorsey. My name is Ken Dorsey, my call sign is Kilo Alpha 8, Oscar Alpha Delta, and today I am filming from the comfort of my ham shack, as you can see behind me here, in a little corner of my basement man cave. And I am doing this because, as most of you probably are as well, we are sheltering in place because of the COVID-19 outbreak in the country here. So we are shooting the show today from my home. Uh, I also wanted to mention that just because we are all sheltering in place, DX Engineering is still in business. We're still shipping product. We're still taking orders. If you call us on our line, you're going to be talking to us, but you're going to be talking to one of us from home. So we are all working from home, taking your orders, but we are in business. We're open for business, and we are taking your orders and shipping product. Just wanted to get that out there. So today I wanted to talk just a little bit about the open spot, the digital hot spot, the open spot three. I picked one up one of these open spot threes and I wanted to show you today how you can actually create multiple digital profiles. So if you have more than one digital radio, you can set up a profile and use the radio to actually switch between digital modes for the different radios. So if you have like a DMR and a D-Star and a System Fusion HT, you can set those up to switch between those digital modes just over the, by using the radio. You don't have to go into the interface for the hotspot to switch modes. I'm not going to get into cross-band or cross-mode uh, operation today. Uh, cross-mode operation, there are several YouTube videos out there that explain that very well, how to set up to do cross-mode operation on the open spot 3. I won't be getting into that, but I'll just be talking basically about uh, setting up uh, different uh, 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 profiles for the digital modes for m multiple digital radios. With that in mind, I'm going to pause here for a second and get set up to show you what uh, you have to do to make that happen. Okay, so as you can see, I am currently uh, connected to my OpenSpot 3 uh, on my web browser here to uh, go to the uh, communication settings and the, uh, the various settings on the OpenSpot 3. So basically what we want to do is we want to come over here to settings and you'll see down here in my settings screen that I already have several profiles set up. I have a DMR profile, a D-Star profile going to uh, one of the repeaters for my one of my local uh, amateur radio clubs, the uh, Silver Creek Amateur Radio Association. I also have a D-Star X-Reflector profile set up. I have a C4FM profile set up, and I have a P25 profile set up. So setting these profiles up is actually fairly straightforward. What you want to do is you're going to go over to your connectors screen and you're going to set up your connector for whatever mode, whatever frequency um, you want to work on that particular profile. Come back to the settings screen, go to whichever profile it is you want to put that set, those settings into and you can rename it. The, the profiles, uh, I think they just say profile 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 if I remember correctly, I forget what the, uh, what the default is, but uh, you can rename the profile and then just hit save while you're on that profile and that will save that information into the profile that you're working with, you're working on. Uh, now obviously I can come up here and I can say change, I can select a different profile from you know, the, the, the actual menu options here, but I don't want to do that. I want to be able to select the profiles from the radio, so it's very easy to do that. Each one of these profiles, profile 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, is all is, are all associated with numbers 9001 to 9005. So profile 1 will be 9001, profile 2, 9002, so on and so, so forth, down to 9005. And that's your five profiles. So it's actually, once those are set up, then you just have to go in and program the radios to actually transmit the profile number, and that will allow you to change the profile on the open spot 3. So I'm going to show you that now. Uh, I already have radios set up, so we're going to go ahead and... I'm going to go back to the status just so you can see what we're doing here. So I have a, uh, a DMR radio here set up. 
And this radio is, uh, again, it's, it's DMR. And then I've got a uh, D-Star HT here also. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's the D-Star HT. So I'm going to go ahead and what I've done to set up DMR, you just set up a, a, um, a talk group. 9001 to 9000, um, 9001 to 9005, basically. So uh, whatever talk group you set up will be the same as the profile. So 9001 would be your first profile, 9002, second profile, so on and so forth. So I have five talk groups set up on this DMR radio. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to profile number three. Now, if you remember in my profile settings here, Profile 3 is the D-Star with X-Reflector access. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to key up on that talk group on uh, 9003. I have it set up for, as Profile 3, and you should see the D-Star radio come to life, and it should say we're connected to D-Star. Okay, so there you go. You heard that. It says open spot profile 3 ready. So we're now connected to D-Star. And we can use our D-Star radio now on the D-Star profile. And if I go back to the status, you'll see that I am now set up, as soon as it reloads here, I am now set up for D-Star X-Reflectors. And of course, if I go to settings, the settings is going to tell me my active profile slot is also D Star X Reflector. So now apparently it's having trouble connecting to the, the server for some reason at this moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, change now to a different profile. So I have the same profile set up in here as rooms. So I have room 9001 through 9005. So I'm going to go to room number five, and I'm going to transmit just like I was transmitting into a D-Star room. And that's going to be my P25. So I've got a P25 here radio. So, it's, so, so as soon as I connect to the, uh, the, the number five, you should see the uh, P25 come up. But we are, as you can see, we are connected to P25 now. If I go back again to the settings on the radio, you'll see we are in the active profile of P25. So we have changed to P25. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the P25. I'm going to, I have, uh, again, I have just rooms set up, talk groups set up on P25 with the same profile numbers, 1 through 5. So I'm going to go to profile 3 this time. Uh, no, excuse me, profile. We'll go to profile 4 because profile 4 is our C4FM profile. So I have my C4FM radio here, my FT70D. So I'm going to key up on uh, profile 4, 9004. And that's going to tell the open spot to connect me to YSF. And there we go. Open spot profile 4 ready. So we got open spot profile 4 ready. So now we are on YSF. Open spot connected to YSF reflector. And we're connected to the reflector and the YSF. So again, if I go back to the status on the open spot screen, it's going to reload again. And it's going to say we're now on C4FM on uh, pr profile number four. If I go over to settings, you'll see the same thing. Active profile is now profile four. Now on C4FM, to get back to another uh, profile, it's a little more difficult. You actually have to send a DTMF code. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to set up in advance DTMF codes. And if you want to do that, like on a, on a FT70, you go to DT set. And you can set channels. Uh, it's EA1 through EA5 for the uh, system fusion. So you want to set up five DTMF codes of EA1 through EA5. Then to send those codes, when you're, when you're connected, and I'll go ahead and and do a connect here. Let me get back out of this. Okay, I'll go ahead and connect to the hotspot through Wires X. Okay, I'm now connected to Wires X. So I'm going to go to my connect screen. 
And to connect, all you have to do is press the push to talk and then what it, whichever memory uh, DTMF you stored in your memory. So in, to get back to one, I've stored them as one, two, three, four, and five. So now if I want to go back to profile one, I'm going to press to talk, hit a one. Frequency is busy right now, so I can't actually transmit. There we go. Now the frequency got I'm busy. So now I went back to the DMR and I got open spot profile one ready again. Open spot connected to Randmeister 3102 link status talk room zero. So there's the uh, connection. Now we're back on DMR. So of course if I go back to status here, again it will reload and it's going to show us that we're back on DMR. And if I go to settings, it will show you that we're back on active profile slot for DMR. That's the way it works. That's the way you use radios to change your profiles that you set up in the uh, menu of the open spot. And again, you don't have to do this from the open spot menu. That's the nice thing. You can do it directly from the radio. You can change your profiles on the fly from the radios. That's all I have this week. Thanks a lot for watching and stay safe out there and if you have any questions you can send them to dxengineering at dxengineering.com or digitaldorsey at dxengineering.com and we'd love to answer your questions if you have any so with that in mind have a great rest of the week 73s until next time and stay safe 73 bye bye